that's it the multi wee vibration test 18b I'll open the PDE file okay all right now what I've done just gone through quickly and I've um, go to the configuration file and just go and define the try um, in, if you're using a Pro Mini, if you're using the standard um, Wiimotion Plus and Nunchuck, you really don't have to do any other mods to this. So treat it a flash as it is. Let's get into there. Uh, plug it into the USB port. And I'm just going to flash this now. To flash it, you just press the upload button, and because my Zibi um, dongle doesn't have a reset, I have to hold down the reset on the Arduino. So, just hold it down, okay, and press upload. And what I'll do is, as soon as I see something on the board on the uh, screen there, like now, it's binary sketch size. I uh, let the, uh, the uh, reset go and it goes in flashes. So just keep an eye on this area and it said it's done. Okay, so I can get out of that now. Okay, and I'll fire up the, the Java GUI. Okay, I'm using um, version 1.8 beta 2, um, patch 2, sorry. Yeah, I'm not sure. Um, if it will work with later versions, but because the uh, the sketch was a 1.8 version, I thought I'd use this. Okay, I'll just connect up to COM6. Give it a few seconds. And I'll press the start button. Keep my fingers crossed. Yes. Okay, it's reading. Cycle time is about 6,000 with the nunchuck connected. Um, you'll notice here on the debug 4, to zero which means zero motors are configured so you start off with your throttle down you use the rudder and I'm on mode one here and you can see that that's changed to one so motor one will now fire up if I use the throttle okay motor one in this case is the rear motor so you can see that going what I'll do is I'll change the scale okay and I'll set it to full and that'll give us an idea of what sort of vibrations we're getting Okay, now I'm going to fire the throttle up to about 1460 over here. Alright, I'll hold the truck up to down, very important. Okay, you can see the vibrations there, they're pretty awesome. is we can try using a bit of weight and maybe add a little bit of weight somewhere and, and see what it does. Okay, we'll add a bit of weight there. Okay, I'm going to fire it up back up to 750. Okay, so that hasn't done much there. at the moment but just wanted to show you now um, we can switch over by using the rudder again and see how we've selected the next motor and again we could do the same thing for, for that motor there so up to 1450 whatever you're comfortable with as long as it's the same and then we can have a look at um a kind of vibration. You can see it's a lot better than what the rear motor is. So the idea is to get them all down to that level. Okay, so once we get all the motors down to like minimal vibration, then yeah, we're going to get some really cool video footage. Okay, so I've had a little bit of a play around and I've put a little bit of weight right there. So just have a look at the difference we get in the screen now. Okay, now I also lift it off the ground so that there's no interaction from the ground. And I'll take it back up to 
1460. And you can see that's a lot better now. So there you have it. Fantastic. I'm really wrapped with that.